Hey, my beautifuls, as always, I'm bringing you the newest games that I can get my hands on. And today we have a city builder game called Builders of Egypt. The prologue, though, not the full game. This is just a prologue, which is free right now on Steam, which you can get right now. So Builders of Egypt prologue is a city building economic strategy taking place in the Nile Valley. You just immerse yourself in a world of pyramids where you will become part of an ancient world, create history, and we will be a part of history. As well as the features, you'll have like religion, deities, will interfere in daily life, trade, diplomacy, politics, all that good stuff. But we're going to jump right into it. As always, I show you guys the options, what you can mess with. Which is pretty crazy that you can uh, turn up the FPS in a city builder game. And I'll turn the sound down. Oh. Just a bit and we'll go ahead and we'll get our campaign going. Remember, this is our first time playing. So from seeing me now play... So seeing me later play can be completely different. I am learning everything. This is an early build of the game as well, I'm assuming. So maybe not everything will be in, the, in it. It's a learning process. I always like saying that before starting a new game. And here we go, let's start. So the prologue. The ruler of the Upper Egypt, King Naram, Naramur, conquered the Lower Egypt and united the kingdom on the Nile. Now the country needs the capital. King Aha, Narmar's successor, sends you to the Memphis and Neb Hadi to supervise the construction of his magnificent city, a political, administrative, and religious center, which will become the home to the royal family. And thanks to its monument uh, monumentality, it will strengthen his authority. All right, let's get started. A lot of history in here. I, I don't know if it's history accurate in this game, but I guess we'll see. The ruler, okay, this is something we already read. When conditions bred bricks. All right, I think we can do that. This short tutorial is intended for the early access version and will be expanded as the game it develops. Here you will learn the basic rules of the game. Click on the right arrow to go. I think every developer should do this. Have a little prologue and let people play so they can fix their game up and have a higher quality version come out. In ancient Egypt, the idea of currency was unknown. Work was paid for with bread and beer. To simplify this mechanic, treat these resources as the cost of placing a building and exchange where, uh, exchanging wares. You can find the icon in the top panel. You can get bread and beer mainly from trading and collecting taxes, but these are not reliable sources of the income. So make sure you do not run out of them because in such situations, you will not be able to further develop your settlement. All right, the settlement. I am playing this on widescreen, by the way. Uh, the settlement development should start with designing a grid of, of a street. Select the road from the building list and place the street where... Okay, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see. Select the street. Boom. 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 Select the house from the building list and place it on the road, okay. Uh, 
One, two. Perfect. The building place like this will encourage immigrants to settle in your city. It has significantly high levels of satisfaction, which as you will notice in the later game, it's not easy to achieve. The arrival of the first inhabitants is announced by a message in the bottom. Remember that you can always demolish buildings. Refund, um, refund depends on the level of difficulty. Note that the removing building at a later stage can be tricky as you can shatter the delicate economic balance. Let's practice demolishing on this road. Your dwellers need to be protected against fires. Select a fire station. All right, we got a own little fire station here. Um, this building protects other buildings from fires, but remember that effectiveness of the protection reduces as the distance increases. It is a good idea to build a fire station at the relatively small distance from each other for better protection. Okay. Current warning, the name of the building level of the building, the capacity of the house and the number of available workers, risk of disaster, illness, crime, fire disaster the required resource to raise the level of the house collect resources okay note that each house has its own range which uh i think we're getting people to flood in has its own range distance building in which the dweller can work in the case of hard reach workplaces such as mines it is worth considering building a work camp which is mostly self-sufficient oh, okay and then now we're getting our people to fill in do our individual people have names like a dwarf fortress or a rim world no i think i think it's just too much people coming in for that to happen there's a lot of people coming in In order to upgrade the house, the well should be uh, placed. Okay, got a well. Before people start getting thirsty. Remember that if there's something missing from the previous levels in the next level of the house, the house will degrade. Ah, okay. Cool. Each city needs an organized production for its growth, starting from the production of the basic resources necessary for the upgrade of the house. Build a clay pit in the available space, making sure that it is within the range of the houses and there is a road in the nearby space. Manufacturing products may involve more than one building within the production chain. All right, so we're going to... Build that. Somebody already working in there. Oh, houses are slowly filling up with people. The production of wares may require the construction of more than one building within the production chain. You will find information about that by clicking. Okay. Workers aid. Okay, there's people working in there. People working in there as well. Finished wares are collected by the employees of the stockpile and stored there. Build the stockpile in close range to the production building in the same way as before. All right. Administration building. Note, the stockpile does not have to be predefined in range and can pick up orders from other ends of the map there. Therefore, you can control the stockpile policy by clicking right on them. Okay. 
And I don't think I want to touch this now specifically, though. We'll just leave that. Wow, it can take a lot. This building can take a lot. I won't mess with that, though. Incoming dwellers. Cool. To complete one typical production chain, build a brick brick maker. Okay. Brick maker. Building the most efficient little town as possible. House is leveling up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Connect the same row network in order to be able to supply. Wait, remember that buildings within the single production chain must have been connected to the, the same row network in the same order to be able to get the supplies. Rows are used in many, uh, mainly by stockpile and granary workers, so keep rows connected. I don't think we need to do that now. The inhabitants need food to improve their houses. And before we need to create another production chain, each subsequent upgrade of the houses has its own different requirement. You can check that. Okay. Need some weed. Weeds. Not weed. All right, we build a little fishing, a fishy fish town. And greenery, we're just building the most efficient places possible. Good place to sell the goods. Getting people flooding into our cities. The finish wares can be used to build a monuments. Cool. The missions require it can be traded away. To do this, you need to set up a trade route. So the region map. This is gonna be interesting. You are on the region map. You'll find your settlement on the map and all the others unknown settlements. You can only make contact with some of them at the beginning, but the situation may change during the mission, depending on the results of your choice. Right click on a selected settlement to see what it's trading with and check the other parameters influence diplomacy from this place. You can set up your first trade route, which requires an opening fee depending on many factors such as distance and current political condition if you want to return back to, all right um let's see what do we trade with we want to see is that where we're from or trade route aboyados village All right, that's good. Economy tab. The goods are already in, uh, produced and you can export to Abadis our bricks. Change your policy on bricks to exports. Uh, where's bricks? Excellent. If you want to keep bricks in a specific stockpile, you can set it up in the options on the information card. Yeah, I don't think we need to do all that yet. Oops, sorry about that, boys. See the academy now. Knowing the uh, the basics of the game, you can focus on completing the mission to the 
recall the conditions of the victory, go to the general tab. All right, we're already uh, almost there, not even close, by the way. <coughs> so we got to get cracking with our buildings. Okay, I want to go back, though. Where's our city here? Can we use the... Uh, ah, there we go. Beautiful. Needs more workers. Well, how about... I create more houses over here. Hopefully more people migrate over here. And getting more people here already, which is a good thing. Food production, fishing were a farm. Seems to be uh Ah, okay. Well let's build a road first. So where that was pointing to. I think it was somewhere a little bit along the lines of here. Good to have the, the farm line there, I think. Sanitary, we got the well already. Clay pit. We needed some potters, I remember that. Not enough workers yet. Brick maker. More roads to build. Trying to get an influx as much people as possible. Three workers, not enough workers. We need a lot of workers. Build more houses. Want to get the city pumping with people. What does this mean? Sixty six people in total. Got one got one farm going over here. Where's
I think we had a clay pit already. Shrine is probably something uh, necessary. Some place for them to worship, otherwise I'll probably get upset. Fire station, stockpile, greenery. Getting those people flooding in. I always found the city builders to be super, super relaxing. Wow, lots of people are coming in. What's going on here? Oh, just not enough people. Don't worry, we're going to get enough workers soon. Everything's picking up. Building heritage, decorative palms. Ooh, pretty. It's probably such a waste of money to do this stuff. But you know what? That's all right. The city of palms, okay? That's what we're going to call it. That one's actually uh, driving my OCD crazy. Oh, I can't, you can't get rid of them, though. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, I guess this is just a, a normal, regular palm that was already there. You know what? Let's get rid of these ones. That was pointless. Just leave the palms over there. And hopefully uh, people start filling this building up. There's absolutely no workers here. Check the mail. Request from a neighbor city. A messenger from the neighboring city has arrived. The nomarchs of the city ask to help them with delivering goods. Alright. Deal. Just gotta get the workers for it. That's it. Are they coming in to work here? Need my flood of people. Where's my peoples at? Oh, we reached a milestone. Nice. Settlement milestone of 100 people. I like it. This place looks like it's rusting out. We're getting people to slowly start working. Which is good. 
is a very, very good thing. What do you need? Access to well. You all have access to wells, though. Leave a well right there. Make it nice and easy for them to go to. It's two workers, which shouldn't be too hard in the vicinity that it's in. Getting close to the maximum workers that, that I need. Just look at this water. Oof. Fishes. It's a beautiful game. Ah, there's military in this as well. Room for war. By your station, stockpile. Seems we've built everything that we... Plaza? Have we built a plaza? I don't think we built a plaza. Not yet. Finally has enough workers in it. And get some production going. Got a lot of wheat. This game is free right now on Steam. It's just a prologue. Nice big map. Nice room for expanding your city to make it massive. Times where wages was paid by bread. I like how close you can zoom in on all the all the stuff that's going on. You see the fish, you see the wheat. Let's see if there's uh, any more trading that we can do that's going on here. Our city's all oh, our city's all the way up here. No one closer to us. Buto, Buto is the closest thing to us. All right, no one's really uh, close by. Oh, you can triple six times the speed. Let's see what happens when we do that. We're going to be playing slow speed. Seeing our city slowly pick up. I guess that, uh, that, um, that thing over there is um, a, tr a trader, I think. I'm 
just getting a lot more people. Keeps flooding in with people. Which is good. Where's... Do we have a clay pit? Yeah, we do. We got a faith. I mean, we got everything we possibly can have with with this. So, is the plaza just decoration? I'm assuming it is. Huh, interesting. And diplomacy. We're slowly getting there. We don't have enough. We almost have the people, but we're not even close to this amount, though. Export bricks, 5,000. So we do have a hefty mission on our hands. But as always, I just wanted to show you guys a, a quick, a quick plague of this. Mission description, finances, diplomacy. And uh, you can obviously build up there yourself. Game is available for free. The prologue, not the full game. This is the prologue before the early access. So early access will be coming out soon, I'm assuming, since this is uh, released. But until then, you can play the prologue for free. I'll leave the link below in the descriptions. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am Secret Code. You guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff.